All right, you guys know what time it is. Yes, sir. This has been highly requested on the channel for a very long time. What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and I got a very special guest in the house, the one and only G. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. Welcome back. Thank you, man. I hope all of you guys are doing good as well. I've been gone for a little bit. Yeah, man. G. Kahlo is in the house now. All right, you guys. So um, you guys rec- rec- requested this a bunch. We had G up here doing... um. We reacted to High Ren and a bunch of different stuff. And you guys kept saying, yo, you got to put him in front of the tales of Jenny and Screech. So here we are, man. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm excited. Now, I can't lie. This is a little bit of a ride. Buckle up. Uh, actually, let's get this thing started, you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Bodhi. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40 boys are back in town. 40 year old boys are back in town. What? podcast malt liquor for your ears all right you guys let me get the logo down pull the video up don't forget to support the original content on the channel also support g i will put links to his new music video and stuff like that in the uh, description so you can check out what he's doing but man you've been a little sick man you like you lost your voice you yeah. got sick your back was damn near broken at some capacity yeah I haven't recorded music in a uh, half a year and it's and luckily I had a lot of stuff in the vault yeah. because um yeah I had lost my voice and it was super messed up for about half a year but now as of this week I'm finally recovering so I'm finally yeah I'm I'm all oh, I'm gonna be on the grind man I'm excited yeah that's dope man because <laughs> I think I talked to you a couple of weeks ago. And seeing, um, you know, or talking to you and knowing, like, you're, like, kind of in a dark place. You're like, bruh. And then seeing you today, you're all happy. I'm like, yes, he's back. <laughs> he's back. So welcome back, man. Thank you. And, um, yo, you guys, thank you. Big shout out to the members real quick. If you want to become a member, link's in the description. You get access to all these reactions early. There's no obligation, but want to thank the members for helping us keep these lights on. And let's get this show on the road. Yes, sir. Um, now, to preface this one, this is a three-part story, okay? Mm-hmm. So I believe it's the tale of Jenny, the tale of Screech, and Violet's tale at the end. Each of these were filmed in a similar way, like High Ren, where it's a one-take performance. He's mic'd up. He's really performing it. He's giving you the story. So um, so is, um, is Jenny, Screech, and um, what's the third one? Violet's tale. Violet's tale. So are Jenny and Screech two people? I can't tell you. You got to watch the video and come up with your own (laughs) assessment of this. Um, This is one of the ones I think you'll enjoy the story, but let's just go on this journey together and see how it plays out. So, yeah, man, I know you like to pay attention um, to the lyrics. I think everything's somewhat straightforward, but there's a little. Yeah, I don't want to say anything. Let's just get into this. The reason people request it, you will see. Okay, You ready? 13 minutes. Okay. Yep. Here we go. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Dark night in an empty street Somewhere in London City Jenny walked alone She was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well she knew this town She knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame Dang really quick well, the- Okay I already love the way that he's Um like enunciating himself and like the way that he's pronouncing the words is because he's not just pitting a picture for everybody, but like 
oh, like he was super melodic. And then, you know, he just starts talking. He's not even rapping. He's just talking over the beat. And then um, I forgot what word he said, but he said, dun, 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 or London's. London, oh, London City. City. Yeah, London yeah. City. I don't know. Those little intricacies I love. So Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you play? Well, on the very same night in a different place, there walked this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old and out of his brain he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief, a 14 years old. He had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money. Give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone. Look at me, I mean it, bitch. are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to internal rhyme schemes, dude That's one thing that I've learned that, um, or I've recognized that Ren is super good at doing Is those internal rhyme schemes It's like, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, he be killing it Oh yeah are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the f*** you playing that? You playing games with me? I swear to f***ing God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. That's tight. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame It's a good singer Yep Alright, that's part one Okay, part one, okay, bye, bye, bye It's pretty straightforward <laughs> Clown the cowboys, yo. yeah. Cowboys, I don't know about the cowgirls. I don't know about all that, but you know, it's just, it's just that's hilarious. Just, I'm a Bronco fan, so all right, let's get it. All right, my bad. I just had a. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all know American football teams, you'll know what what you'll yeah. know the vibe. But <laughs> most of y'all are in the UK, so you want some soccer or football, the real football. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, story it starts right. The end of the life of poor Jenny Clocked out like Big Ben Dear Screech, dear boy Where did he go? He melted into the black night Just like snow wow. Patrick man, let me in Please open the door I think I've Patrick, really f oh man, I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I f Patrick, come on man, I can't knock no more. 
But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind that does away Dude, Red is so talented, man <laughs> Hey, babe, are you in? No, nah, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the f do you mean you're busy? You for f sakes! Imagine people not knowing that he's recording this, just listening to him outside. Uh, yeah, I wonder why I'm like, where are all the people when they were filming this? <laughs> yeah, that is, that's yeah. wild, because he was loud. Yeah. He's like, bitch, you fucking. Yeah, no. Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights Come on then you let me have you then I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my streets and they call me Screech! Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three Work in London on the night shift What he didn't think he'd see Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed With no time to hesitate He fired four bullets at Screech's chest <laughs> That's tough Wow Our oh, story, it ends right at the start Young Screech and poor Jenny Lying one street apart An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed Two bodies lay And it's such a shame it's such a shame. Whoa. That riff. Shame. Wow. Okay, really quickly. So one thing that I really like to point out is that it is so cinematic. It is extremely cinematic. And um, the way that he's enunciating all of his words is really making the story like feel like you're there. Yeah. Or like you're the cameraman. So um, with Jenny, with, um, I mean, seems just like a normal lady just walking down the street and then you know there's screech yeah you know like uh um oh yeah because over there is I, for, I forget too like over like since like we have gun violence here but over there is like they, knife violence knife yeah. stuff okay makes up for the gun violence. yeah yeah and um i'm just i'm in awe because of how like cinematic he's making it but also just because i've i've known a lot of screeches and so, like, I've seen these scenarios play out in real life. And so it's just, like, he's, it's, it, it. What's, what's crazy is you said, Jenny, the lady, but when he was uh, singing it, the one thing I noticed, I'm pretty sure both of them are really young. I think she's, like, 14 or something like that. I think he mentions that in the verse that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And he, he mentioned that about Screech, both of them in the first verse. So it is interesting because in america like you see like uh, um like a lot of gang like kids start right around 11 or 12. yeah and there's kids doing mm -hmm. stuff so there's a little bit of a, a parallel out there but I, I i i remember that from the first verse like him tying that in that i think they're both like 14 or something like that yeah and um yeah i mean i've always been around it but it's kind of sad to see and i'm i'm glad that i didn't end up being one of those kids because i mean you know, a lot of those kids, um, a lot of screeches, they feel, and a lot of it has to do with product of environment, but also a lot of it has to just, just do with people thinking that all the street stuff and all of it is cool, yeah. which is not. Well, it goes back and, and forth. It can be people influenced to think it's cool. Mm -hmm. It could be circumstantial, and it could be family. Mm -hmm. A lot of times these uh, families that, you know, a lot of times single parent households, a lot of times lead to a lot of this stuff or you have no parents at all type of thing. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it, it's like I was saying, it's, it's not, people love to glorify it. 
And with Screeches, unfortunately, it just seems like a young man who's wanting to prove himself and or go up in ranks. And, I mean, yeah, it sucks because a lot of people do these types of things, and especially a lot of people that aren't built to be a part of that life, and then they realize that they do something super bad, but at the end of the day, it's too late. Like, yeah. they, like, it's too late. You can't turn back time. So, I'd say this is also a really good representation of think before you act. Because at the end of the day, like all those consequences and everything that you do now will lead on to what the future is going to unfold like. So I like it, man. Um, the storytelling is super on point. I loved when he like used the guitar as like the that was super tough. And his singing on this is super good as well. Like I always forget how good, like how technical and how good Ren is at singing. Like we haven't, we haven't reacted to Ren in a minute. Yeah. And so I forgot how much of a jack of all trades he is. Yeah. And um, that he is. Yeah, I'm I'm loving it. Let's get to the third part. <laughs> all right, this is uh, Violet's tale, and this will bring it bring it all together. Here we go. different shooting locations i was just thinking about that three, three different shooting locations three different like guitar like riffs and loops and stuff and it all sounds like it's all it all sounds way different yeah yeah he, he sets a mood for each one that we've seen so far exactly i love it he's so good at playing guitar too So is this a real, is this a true story then? Um, it's based off a true story, I believe. Okay. I, I believe the inspiration came from a story he saw in a newspaper. Okay. Okay. City, far from pretty, two, zero, zero, five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains, she's our lady weep, she's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. A semi-detached council flat Paid for by your welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco Stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie And he was a little 
Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was the wrong and the Isha knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark Why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door in his diary. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You f I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. Oh, that was a nice That's the sound action. of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone, a quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless <laughs> his punches met her throat. I'm not Such laughing at the story. He's <laughs> oh, his, he, oh, um, I don't know if you saw like when I got the little flow, he keeps switching up the flow and these little internal rhyme schemes and stuff like it's it's crazy it's so technical like i get it that's i just want <laughs> you, to you get it yeah because yeah. people are like like is he laughing because like this is a very sad no part of the no song. no, and no. You're, it's because of the knick-knack patty whack yeah. connect the disconnect the jaw the bone the phone yes. I, I know what you're talking about oh that's crazy that's oh sorry sorry <laughs> 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 Jaw when the tooth spat detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Can say something, Violet. Silence. Wait, say something, Violet. Not one word, she stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried If I'm to right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive. A tragedy or a miracle? It happened on these very streets. Two twins aligned side by side. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. <laughs> That's tough. Wow. Okay. Um, first thing, okay, um, very super, super technical. That's like, I'd say on it, like story aside, that's what I absolutely loved about this song, like his internal rhyme schemes and what I mean by internal rhyme schemes. So like, for example, if I stay like, I stay composed, my flows, there's something new. Um, my flows expose a dun to uh, a spew, dun to dun to rows of on the few, like those, those are like internal rhyme schemes and stuff. And so. A B B A. Yeah, A B B A. Yeah. So it's like um it's it's something super um if you can get it down and if you can like do it correctly, it's it's oh uh, it it flows like water. And it's just like how he was when he was describing how when he was hitting um when he was hitting uh Violet and in the bed and stuff and he was going I, that's like that was my favorite part of the song. Not because of the story again, <laughs> but um back to the story. 
Um, it's like if it's like if you're in a broken household. Um, a lot of the things that you witness growing up, and a lot of the things that do happen, like it can become like a repetitive cycle in a lot of different types of households, which is very sad. But um, just like for example, Violet, like how she felt the need to want to settle down or at least want to see this boy who's a yep. But you see the way that her dad treated her, so she's gonna want to find somebody that's yep. like that, just because like that's all she knows. And unfortunately, a lot of broken people they get people like that, and they don't know how to take love. They like when some someone nice or someone that's good comes to them, they don't know how to take it. So a lot of people like to retaliate, or a lot of people like to go ghost. And a lot of people don't know what to do. And it's sad that this is a reality that a lot of people have to go through um, within their lives. But as a song as a whole, it, it was it was amazing, bro. And did you like the twist? Because a lot of times people will be like, did the, like when we're reacting, they're like, did they understand the whole story? Did they understand the twist at mm -hmm. the end? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you understand how it all came together. Yeah. 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 No, I, I yeah, I loved it. Yeah. This was a, yeah, this was for sure a way more straightforward song compared to other things that we've reacted to. Yeah. But I always say this when I, when I watch this one, it reminded me of, uh, it, it's its own thing. So when I say remind me, I don't mean, I'm not trying to make like a exact comparison, but yeah. immortal technique dance with the devil oh, yeah, because that, that twist song. at the end, yes. you're like, no bro. Yeah. And that's right. When he says two twins, a boy named Jenny and a girl named screech. And the way he wrote it, when you go back and look at the lyrics, it's just so, Oh man, it's just so great because he he gives you little breadcrumbs through the beginning, but you're not always going to tie it in until you've heard this song multiple times. Mm -hmm. That's why I said there are 14 because then it's like oh, they're, like now you it's like at the end we knew they were twins, yeah. but like those little subtleties because you're just watching this for the first time and maybe you're more paying attention to her walking and getting stabbed instead mm -hmm. of the little sub. But he's leaving all these breadcrumbs because yeah. at the beginning of Violet's Tale, he's like. Um, this lady's in the hospital, but we must rewind so you understand why mm -hmm. and what's about to happen. And then it's just like the storytelling was really um, highest level. This oh, is yeah. the highest level storytelling. No, it sure. absolutely is. Yeah. And when I saw that correlation at the end, it, that's why I paused for a little bit because it, it took a little bit for it to hit and then it hit. And I was like, OK, like which pinpoint am I going to hit first? So, no. Yeah, that's crazy. And uh, I could see how that would go over a lot of people's heads, especially if they aren't really paying attention to it. Um, like you said, you know me, I'm a super lyrics guy. So I was like, I was, I was, I was looking for, I was looking for something, but, um, as far as like a twist or something at the end and that, 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 that's crazy. That storytelling is crazy, but no, nah, I mean, I'm surprised, but I'm not like it's Bren. Yeah. And I, and look purposefully, I don't listen to a lot of Ren and I don't watch a lot of Ren just because I like to be able to experience it with you guys. And I like to be able to react to it at first. So this is always like a pleasure for me to be able to watch him and to react to him because he's a, he is a prodigy. He is a pioneer for her music and he's going, I'm sure people will look back at Ren and I feel like right now he's very underappreciated, although he's been number one, although he's been, you know, he's had the success that he has. I don't I don't think people are truly going to appreciate like what they see also just because it might not go over a lot of people's heads but because he talks a lot of stuff that's uncomfortable but those uncomfortable topics are what make us human and I feel like as though there are things that need to be talked about yeah I agree I, and it's funny that you said that because I think he's going to he is or is going to be one of the great artists of our time yeah. and it just takes time to for people to real you know just mm -hmm. takes those it takes time oh yeah so yeah well, I loved it <laughs> you guys um you requested it we delivered let me know what's the next thing we should put uh g Kahlo in front of man and uh we're gonna ride off into the sunset yes, like, like share comment subscribe catch you on the next one Bodhi. Bodhi. thank you for being yeah. some man yeah. 40 years down the road back again Bodhi. 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 Bodhi.